気を拳に俺はずっと自由だふん時計エレファントガンここもらうぞ覇気を体に流すイメージ勝ちに来たんだ来るなら殺すぞフォーク・ガトリング Bandai Namco. Yo, what's up? It's your boy King Roshi. So, as you just saw, we're getting Onigashima, basically, the slaughter of Onigashima Luffy, which, in my opinion, I think this is basically Yonko Luffy. And, I mean, it's just not very many people in the One Piece world know of Ryo, or how do I even say that? Know of this style of hockey. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure if you do know this style of hockey, you're just. I mean, you can fight a Yonko. As you can see with the anime and with the manga, it is insane how powerful he is. This makes me think would Odin. If Odin. Yes, he would have. He would have. If Odin went out on his own, he would have been Yonko level. Was. Okay, so. When the Roger Pirates disbanded, and even before that, was Rayleigh a Yonko? How? Because Rayleigh is clearly one of the people who can use this. He's known as Dark King, he's clearly powerful. Is, was he a. Huh. Well, no, I guess just because you can use it doesn't mean that you're a Yonko, but. Who else can use it? Can Mihawk use it? Dude, this is so interesting. Anyway, for sure,、uh, I told you earlier in my other summoning video if I were you, I would save up the rainbow diamonds that you have and just wait and see what comes out for Golden Week and what comes out for the new Luffy because we knew we were getting one. On his birthday, we always get a new Luffy. This should theoretically be the strongest Luffy because it is, in the story, the strongest Luffy so far. Of course, there are. Other things that lead to him getting stronger, like、uh, mastering this form while being in,、uh, well, basically, Gear 4 Snake Man and Tank Man. If he can master that, then of course he's, free, he's a Yonko for sure. He's at Yonko level for sure.、Um, there's the whole idea of before that, what was his strongest form? Because in terms of physical strength, I don't think you can really argue that in terms of physical strength, purely physical, I'm talking physical here, Nightmare Luffy was his strongest form in terms of physical strength. Now, sure, he can't just enter that form whenever he wants to. He has to be legitimately put into that form. He needs outside help. So, he can't really just tap into that. But, in terms of pure strength, that was his strongest form. It's. This is. <laughs> this is getting so interesting. Honestly, I wonder how they're going to keep pumping out Luffy's and then they just do it because Gear Second Luffy is still a thing. And we just got in his lobby Robin. And we got, well, Monster Point Chopper, who is really freaking good. They're both really good. Any characters that come out from here on out, just every time they put out a character, they're trying to make that character either as good as the meta in terms of Bounty Fest. Either as good as the meta, which meta is something different, we can talk about that in a later video, or they're trying to make the characters, you know, progress. They're trying to have an uphill progression, something that makes it where, okay, well, if you get these characters, you can either keep up, but if you master them, you could potentially be better than a lot of the characters that are currently out. Monster Point Chopper is so insanely good, and I know Roman put out a video, Roman Puss, he put out a video that is really good at explaining why he's good, in my opinion. If you watch it and you actually see how he plays, it's, it's good. He's not the only one with a great video out on him, he's just the one that I saw. So, we know Gear Second Luffy has to come out. Do we count. Do we count movies? Should we start counting movies? Are there any movie kit? Well, Stampede, for sure, right? 
but that technically could be canon. And Stampede could be canon because there was technically a one year time period where Bullet was on Roger's ship and he technically got off a few months before Roger would have met up with Odin. That's why we never saw him in that flashback. So Bullet theoretically could actually exist within the One Piece world. The part that is just obviously not canon is the whole island thing where they were there and fighting and things like that. That part obviously couldn't be canon. However, he could very well be locked up at level 6 in Empire Dawn. Now, it does beg the question, well, why didn't we see him when Luffy was there? And I feel like that's answered by simply him just not caring that Luffy is there and not caring to escape because he doesn't... He can escape whenever he wants to. He's strong enough, right? It's Bullet. You could argue he's Yonko level. It's... It's interesting. I like where things are going. Anyway, guys, uh, that's the end of this video. I'll holler at you guys later. Thanks for watching, and leave your opinions on what you think of the new Luffy. I'm out. Peace.